Uh, please stay on. Coming up next is the, an award ceremony. It's the Forum's Global Growth Companies Awards. I'm handing it over to David Eichmann, Managing Director and Head of uh, New Champions at the World Economic Forum. Thank you all. Thank you once again. Thank you, Harsha. Thank you, thank you. As we've just heard, India is entering a new era. Governmental and societal changes are contributing to a prosperous outlook for a thriving economy. And thriving economies rely on the influence and contribution of robust and dynamic medium-sized enterprises, of which India has many. With India's enormous middle class and renowned ingenuity, there's plenty of opportunity for both business and society. Today, the World Economic Forum is recognizing some of India's most influential high-growth companies that are impacting the economy and creating opportunities. These companies are innovators and market shapers, and you may know them already. The forum aims to support their potential and impact, not only in the region, but beyond. They're well positioned to be the next generation of India's globalizers. Twelve of the companies, uh, the Indian uh, awardees, are here today, and they recommend, represent the economic dynamism and highlight the entrepreneurial and innovative spirit that India has demonstrated on its path to greater prosperity and a more equitable society. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled to introduce the Indian Global Growth Company honorees for 2014. Please join me in welcoming and honoring 4G Identity Solutions. A and I Technologies, Cameras there. Avestagen, Bandan Financial Services. Centum Electronics. You got it? Yeah. Forbes Marshall. Make my trip. Nash Industries. Persistent Systems. Radical Systems, uh, Radical Foods, sorry. <laughs> RBL Bank. and TransAsia Biomedical. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the Forum's Indian Global Growth Companies for 2014. Thank you.